Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time doing another DreamWorks film review, and this one is on Kung Fu Panda. Now as you know, yeah, Kung Fu Panda is a 2008 martial arts comedy film that was the first installment in the Kung Fu Panda franchise and was meant to have Jack Black as the iconic voice for Poe. So the premise of the film is meant to follow how in the Valley of Peace we kind of see how how a sort of young sort of ambitious but kind of good-hearted giant panda known as Poe dreams about becoming becoming one of the sort of Furious Five. And we do kind of see how, yeah, Poe is kind of like a bit of a nerd. We kind of see how he has collectibles. We see how he kind of gets, kind of wants to kind of be more into Kung Fu. And we see how Master Ugle picks him to be the next Dragon Warrior. And over the film, we do see how Shifu has not only justified reasons about being cautious about Poe, but also the fact of Tai Long, his former student and adopted son. And I think the way I do see Tai Long is a bit of a dark reflection of Po, but also Shifu. While Shifu can be hard on his on his students, it was made clear that, yeah, Tai Long was ambitious, he didn't really want to stop and think if he was meant to be the Dragon Warrior, and the fact that, yeah, because of his stubbornness, his refusal to accept any possible outcomes, he basically let one one rejection affect him. And you do see the sense that, yeah, Shifu is going to be a bit more hard on the students, not making similar mistakes. And yeah, we do have the Furious Five, who are meant to be kind of like the more more kind of experienced members and you do kind of see how at first they do act a little hard on Poe but you do see them later uh, warming up to him and the whole point of the film is meant to remind you that even though you might be the bottom of the barrel t to people it's important to prove to them that you can be more than just a, a sort of joke and an outsider and I think it does work. I think the film also kind of shows you that, yeah, not that martial arts as well as training in karate, Kwai Guan Do, as well as Kung Fu and that, takes years of practice. You need to be prepared for any possible problems. And we do kind of see how Po has to slowly understand more about Kung Fu. And we do see how Shi Fu has to understand that Po isn't like the other students. He, his training method is going to be a lot different. And I think the film also does a good job in referencing, tributing, as well as kind of going back on the old martial arts chop socky films. As keep in mind that, yeah... When America does do a kind of Asian film, it's going to be chop socky, it's going to be over the top, it's going to have characters flying over the place with daggers and everything, but it definitely works as a film. So I think this one definitely deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still okay. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.